Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp's online techniques class. Today's technique is called plaid effect. Now to do this technique you do need a solid image and so I'm going to use this one right here. This is from the Everything Eleanor stamp set and then you need a couple different ink pads. I'm going to use the So Saffron and Baja Breeze. Now this technique works the best if you ink your stamp with the lighter color ink. So I'm going to ink it with the So Saffron. Make sure that that's good inked. And then what you want to do is you want to take the darker ink and you're just going to use the side here and you are going to press down on the side and you're going to do, if you zoom in there, Dean, I don't know if you can see on the camera or not, but I have little stripes of the blue. Then I'm going to turn my stamp, and I'm going to stay on the side here, and I'm going to come in again the long way with the stripes, creating a nice plaid. And then I'm going to stamp that on some Whisper White. If you think that it's dried out, you can huff on it. Just put some hot air like that and then stamp it. You can do this with a solid image. Flower, leaves, any solid image. And you get that cool plaid effect with the two different colors. Actually, the Baja Breeze and the So Saffron give you a kind of a green in there. So then for mine, I cut that out, so I have here, and I just want to, I cut out this one because what I did was I went on an angle, so it's um, more like diamond shaped plaid, so you can do different directions, get different plaids, and I'm going to show you how I use this on a card. Actually, it's going to be a gift card holder, so you're going to cut your card stock four and a quarter by 11 and then you're going to score it at four and a quarter which is the regular width of a card and then eight and a half and then you have two and a half inches left what you're going to do is you're going to take the one and three eighths inch circle punch and you're going to come in here and you're going to punch out half a circle and then what you're going to do is you're going to put sticky strip here to create a pocket to put your gift card in. So I'm just going to stick my sticky strip on. And make sure that it gets nice and burnished there. I'm going to fold up my And then I'm going to go ahead and remove that red line. Sometimes it's easier said than done. And I'm going to go ahead and fold that up. So now I just created a nice pocket for my gift card to fit in. Then on the front is, I'm going to take a piece of Whisper White. Stick that in the center. Then I took a piece of the Baja Breeze and I ran it through the Big Shot in a textured folder. And so that's going to go on the top. Actually, you know what, because this is going in my technique book, I'm probably going to cut this off so that it's flat in my book, but you can just see how it went. Then I'm going to take the plaid effect and place that in the center. Then in the Everything Eleanor stamp set, there's this flower here, and I stamped it in the Baja Breeze. 
And then I cut them out. I just took a strip of white and stamped happy birthday and I'm gonna stick that down the center here. Place my flowers. Like so, and there I have my plaid effect. Now I'm gonna get my cutter here. But at least you can see how to turn that into a gift card holder. I'm going to cut this so I can get it on my page. Put that on my technique page. Here you have the finished gift card holder. I put some pearls in the center of my flowers. I popped it all up with dimensionals. Inside I added a piece of white and stamped the flowers so you can put the gift card in there to what's from and a little greeting. So there you have the plaid effect. Thanks for stopping by.